we found uh, problems across practically every aspect of care uh, for patients with dementia admitted to acute, acute hospital. If we start off, uh, very few of the very few of the hospitals, six percent in fact only, had a care uh, pathway established for patients uh, with dementia. Uh, there were deficiencies in the assessment of people. There were deficiencies in the interactions between. Uh, staff in the hospitals and the, uh, in the patients. Uh, many members of staff, two-thirds in, in fact, thought they had inadequate training uh, and there were also issues of staffing and the adequacy of staffing that was identified by uh, nursing staff as well. It's a really shocking report and it does show that actually we need to have a huge and very radical shake-up of the way that the NHS deals with people with dementia. This isn't a small problem, so a quarter of all hospital beds are taken up by people with dementia and actually what we know is that they're going into hospital and they're coming out worse, they're coming out worse in terms of their dementia and in terms of their physical health. So it shows us that actually there's a lot that needs to be done and that some hospitals are doing a good job but others are falling far short. Part of it must be training, uh, part of it must be uh, supervision to make sure that the training is implemented uh, and then there is perhaps a, a more difficult issue, issues of attitudes towards, uh, towards older people to make sure that uh, people are trained, uh, people are uh, able to deliver care with compassion uh, and humanity. Alzheimer's Society has been campaigning for basic training for a really long time, but we know that only a small percentage of staff actually ever receive it. In this survey, only about a third of staff. And when you think about the fact that all hospital staff will come into contact with people with dementia every single day, that really is shocking, because it's the small things that you can be taught as a nurse or as somebody working on the ward that can make a huge difference. Many hospitals are delivering to a uh, high standard already within the financial resources that they have. Uh, and if that is the case, I can't see why that can't be rolled out uh, across the country. Of course, we don't know what level of finances will be available to the NHS uh, in, in the future, and much will depend upon the, if you like, the global and the British economic uh, situation. But I guess there's always been going to be a squeeze on budgets, uh, and so it's very important that the issue of care of older people, people with dementia, is given the highest possible priority.